Uh, I'm here with Jacob Weiss, the head of new platforms and video and content strategy at the German magazine Built. Hi, Jacob. Hi, Jacob. Uh, how are you? How has the day been so far? Good, good. It's been uh, really inspiring. I, I love like events like that when you uh, bump into people um, you've never met before, but when you start talking to them, you realize that they've spent a lot of time working on something you have actually spent a lot of time thinking about. And if, if you're lucky, they already came up with a solution and they're like sharing it with you and you're like like I have had a meeting earlier today that like that might might solve a bigger problem for me I've had over the last month uh, last weeks and that's great like when you just have a coffee with somebody and you walk out of that meeting and like great that's that's something I've been looking for quite a long time so you mentioned you had a meeting have you had the chance to schedule for more meetings here Yeah, I've, uh, I have a few more meetings following up uh, later, and I'm very uh, curious about uh, about the folks I'm, I'm meeting. Great. Um, so when was the first time you heard about Media Honeypot? And in your view, what is the importance of events like Media Honeypot in uh, bringing together uh, media corporate corporates and uh, digital startups? I think it's uh, events like this uh, are, are really important because uh, Um, media companies can benefit a lot from working uh, together with uh, with startups, and um, that's that's something. Uh, it sometimes it might be hard uh, as a startup to get a foot in into a door of a, uh, a large media company like like we are because um, it's hard to find the right person to talk to. And um, I'm happy if uh, I can attend a, an event like this and. Uh, show up and tell people, hey, uh, talk to me if you want to, and I can introduce you to, to some more people at my company, and maybe we find a project to work on together. That's, that's amazing. So uh, let's talk a little bit about Build. Um, what do you see as the key growth drivers and strategy for Build for the next, let's say, five years? Um, and how does this event relate to that strategy? <laughs> um, I'm, I'm pretty sure in the next five years there something will happen we don't expect to yet. So uh, I, I would I would say I, I can I can make an assumption for the next two years maybe. Um, at the moment, video has been uh, an, an amazing opportunity for us, both on platforms and on our own portals. Uh, especially with live, with live on Facebook, with live on uh, Periscope and uh, live on YouTube. That's an amazing opportunity for us to take the user directly where we are at the point. Like last year, our editor in chief um, uh, was at uh, the Oval Office uh, with Donald Trump, and he went live, and he took the users to the Oval Office and shared that like very intimate experience which usually would be limited to a very few people and our users were able to go there with him and experience uh, the story firsthand like I don't think too much changed about the way we're telling our stories and that always should be our main focus like our job is to inform people to bring news to the people but the tools we've got fundamentally changed we now have video we have live video we can take the people places we can show them what we see which helps when we're dealing with fake news because uh, our reporters actually can show where they are they can show what happens and people can experience it firsthand that's great and I think uh, video will will be uh, a big part of our of our future definitely and on the other hand it's it's platforms so talking about platforms um, what's your experience using these external new platforms like snapchat and would you say what would you say is the biggest success for build in using these external platforms um, i mean the the biggest success for us is uh, if we're able to to uh, get in contact with uh, with users who haven't be, haven't been using build before which is interesting because uh, especially on on snapchat discover we're Uh, 90% of the people we're reaching on Snapchat Discover uh, are uh, 24 and younger. That's amazing. Those people might have never been in contact with Build before. And we we now have a way to get in contact with them, to show them what we are doing, to show them what we write about, to show them what we what our videos are about. And uh, I think that's, that's a great first step to establish uh, a relationship with uh, these young users. All right, so um, I think it's safe to say that the corporate and startup um, cultures differ quite a lot from each other. Uh, so where do you see the biggest challenges uh, in, in cooperation like this? And how has your team been able to address these kind of uh, issues? 
Um, I don't see too many differences anymore. I mean, I think uh, our industry changed a lot over the last years because with platforms uh, coming around the corner, with digitalization, a lot of young people, a lot of people who think a bit different came into the industry and changed the industry their way. So I think today we're closer uh, to, to the uh, startup uh, industry than we've been uh, or we might have been a few years ago. But um, still, we're a large company. And if you're a startup and if you want to close a deal, maybe two people are involved. If we want to close a deal as a large company, there might be 20 people involved. Okay, maybe it's not 20, but it's a lot of people. It's a lot of paperwork. And that sometimes takes a bit of time. And that sometimes might be hard to understand from the outside. like Because uh, these large companies uh, are not too easy to understand from the outside sometimes. So um, what kind of new ways of management do you see that this kind of change calls for? I think uh, it's very important to enable people to, to play a key role wherever they are in your, in your company. Like, I think at Build, everybody is, is and was able to, to change the product a bit, like to, to, make the thing, to put their fingerprint on the product. And I think that's something, like, something central. If you want to be a good company, you have to have a stuff that is very involved in the product that's very focused on the user's needs. Uh, and I think that's, that's, that's the key. All right, so um, you mentioned video before. So where do you think video production is going to progress in the near future? And how will people share and generate and, and create content in the, in the next two or four years? <laughs> um, I think uh, video content creation has never been easier. Like when we look uh, over the last years, uh, what f started at YouTube and now is all over Facebook is that today you don't even need a camera. It's, it might start with a teenager and his iPhone or his Android and uh, he might start uploading videos to Facebook or YouTube and he might soon be quite, quite uh, a brand himself. Um, so that changed. But at the same time, when we look at uh, platforms today, there's like there's an explosion of content there, and I think in in the struggle uh, for media companies, relevancy is key. You have to produce relevant material for your for your audience, and at the same time you have to be as flexible and agile as these kids with their iPhones. Because today, um, if something happens, there will be somebody with his phone filming it. Maybe he'll film it live. Maybe we'll stream it to Facebook. And that's the competition we are in as a media company at the moment. And that does mean if something happens, um, we have to be on the story the minute it happens. We have to get footage as fast as we can and we have to do our job. And we have to be good at our job, which is to, to give and provide orientation. What is happening? What is shown in the video and I think that's our strength and I think that's the role media companies should play is be very fast but also be very good at reporting the news and checking facts and provide a good orientation in a very short amount of time. Jakob Weiss from Build Magazine, thank you so much for the interview and enjoy the rest of your day.